Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking a little bit about spring trends and key pieces to get you through this spring and summer period. Starting with pastel yellow. So this colour has been seen pretty much everywhere. Most retailers have been stocking this colour and I really love this two-piece suit from Mango. I think the colour of this is really beautiful. It's definitely very spring and summer friendly. Although this colour is yellow, it's still a little bit on the more gritty neutral side so I think for people who are a little bit more afraid of colour this is a really nice way to introduce a little bit of colour into your wardrobe and as this is a two-piece suit it's great because you can wear it as separate so if this look is a little bit bold for you and wearing a full yellow suit might be a little bit too far it's great because you can throw it on with a pair of jeans and you can wear the trousers on its own with just like a cami top or a really nice silky shirt Next are some pieces that I have been sporting a lot recently and it's wide leg trousers or jeans. So starting with trousers, I have these trousers from Topshop. I have got so much wear out of this so far. It's the perfect fit, it's really nice and loose. So it's perfect for spring and for summer because it's not too skin tight, it's not going to make you feel too hot and bothered. It's really amazing and fluid, the material is very silky and the colour of this is perfect. If you do like neutrals and you're afraid of trends, this is the kind of piece that will see you through this season and you can definitely wear again and again. Next we have wide leg jeans and this is something that I haven't worn since the 90s but I think there's a certain charm in wearing things that are quite nostalgic. So wide leg jeans seem to have made a reappearance on most retailers and this pair is from Topshop. Topshop jeans are always perfect for myself. I would always recommend them to people because the sizes are perfect, the actual denim is really nice and comfortable and what I love about this pair is how relaxed they are. Just wearing it with a cami or maybe a one shoulder cami and some trainers and maybe a bit more of a sophisticated bag just makes it look so relaxed but I think that there are ways that you can style this so they're a little bit more sophisticated and cheap. Jeans are generally such a big summer staple so having it in a wider more relaxed fit and not something that's going to make you feel too claustrophobic is really perfect for this season. This is a colour that I absolutely adore, it's sage green and this has been quite a big piece this season and I think pastel tones generally are really perfect for spring. I know it's not a groundbreaking trend but it's definitely a very beautiful one. So this colour is really delicate which I think is so appropriate for spring and paired with some jeans and just a really nice simple or statement shoe it will be a really nice casual way of introducing a spring and summer trend into your wardrobe. So this top is from Mango, it's such a lovely fabric, it's nice and silky, it's definitely a piece that you could wear throughout spring and summer. I think it's quite sophisticated, definitely a little bit work appropriate too and if you work in an office environment this kind of top is a really perfect way of introducing a little bit of colour and making your work wardrobe just a little bit more fun and a bit more on trend. Utility pieces have been pretty much everywhere and it's a trend that I really do like. So first I have some cargo pants, these are from H&M and they're in this khaki colour which I think looks really perfect with a bit more of a feminine, silkier, delicate shirt like this one from Massimo Dutti. I personally love the combination and contrast of wearing something really feminine paired with something really relaxed and a little bit more masculine like these trousers. These trousers are in a really great stiff material so they don't tend to crease as easily as I've noticed other spring pieces do. With something so relaxed I've paired it with a bit more of a structured shoe. I have these boots from Under the Stories with a square toe which I think are the perfect balance between something really casual like these pants and just making the whole look a little bit more sophisticated and put together. Moving on to a boiler suit, so I have seen so many people style boiler suits in so many different ways and although they do look like a piece that you'll probably only wear once, I think there are plenty of ways that you can style this. I styled my boiler suit from Topshop with a black belt and gold accents. I think the gold accents make everything look a little bit more sophisticated and classy. I love that this boiler suit is still quite tailored, it has a really nice colour around it and I think that that structure and the peg leg, it makes it look just 
looks a little bit more classy. I think if you're definitely someone who likes your tailored masculine fits and cuts, and if you're someone who's into something a bit more boxy and structured, this bodysuit is really great because it kind of hits the nail on the head with all of that, but still makes it look quite casual. Next up, strappy sandals, and this is kind of an obvious one for spring and summer because they tend to come around every single year. So the first pair is from Mango. These are a pair of clean white strappy sandals. I love the rectangular block heel. I think they make them look extremely interesting. It's just a really perfect spring shoe to throw on. I am a trainer girl, so I really value comfort. So whenever I consider buying heels, I always take into consideration if they're comfortable or not. This pair from Mango is definitely very comfortable, so you can get away with wearing them for a full summer's day out. The next pair is from Topshop and I have had these for a while and they're a little bit more on the formal side because they have a stiletto heel but pairing it with something really relaxed and baggy really makes it look a little bit more casual. This particular pair is just a really nice simple statement. I think they make every outfit look a little bit sophisticated and this pair of heels have been selling out so fast so if you do like them you have to get your hands on them as quickly as possible. Moving on to mini bags, I have seen so many mini mini bags out on the runway and personally I can't justify spending a obscene amount of money on something so small and impractical but this one is a really nice balance. So this is the Loewe hammock bag and I think it looks so perfect with most spring outfits because it just adds a touch of freshness and I think white pieces in spring and summer are so perfect and so appropriate. I think this bag complements most outfits but I think the mini bag trend is such a cute trend. With spring and summer being all about delicate items I think it really is the perfect piece for spring and summer. My final piece and probably the most feminine thing I have ever owned is hairbands and this is definitely a piece that I wore when I was a lot younger but I am so happy it's come back into style because they're so cute and I think when you contrast it with something a bit boyish like an oversized blazer and jeans and trainers it makes it look so interesting and I think using a hair accessory is such a perfect way for an instant refresh to your whole spring look and it's kind of an easy way to introduce a a bit of a trend focused item into your wardrobe. So those are my top pieces for spring and summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!